So how, how do you think it's been going so far? Very well, we're just a bit behind schedule as per usual. I like every film set? Yes, <laughs> but um, not too bad over schedule. Maybe only two shots behind. Cool. My name is Nigel and my role is Murray. He's the character who has to overcome uh, society and he um, has a lover um, who's who's a male? He's and he's got two alternate lives. So in his in his life that he uh, presents to everybody, he presents the the guy that all the girls love and all the um, uh, guys want to be. And he does that through because um, he's with Pauline, the the female lead of the film. Uh, my name's Marianne, and I'm playing Pauline, who's the uh, head prefect. Um, Pauline is. Um, large and in charge. She's head honcho and she knows it basically, um, you know, she's the boss of everyone, she's the boss of the school and everyone follows what she says and everyone's kind of scared of her because she's she's a bit of a bitch really. She's in love with Murray despite the fact that um, he's not into her but she doesn't even notice because, you know, it's all about her. Um, so yeah, really her, her world is just revolves all around her basically. Uh, yeah, working on site was definitely an experience. It was quite a crazy shoot for three and a half days. I think we did just over a hundred shots in the three days, and it was demanding weather-wise. And we had a lot of steady cams, so a lot of physical. But it was one of the funniest film shoots I've ever been on. A lot of a lot of crew laughter behind the scenes. You'll probably have to be edited out. Uh, the prefects humping the tree was pretty funny. I love that. All of the prefect cutaways of when they're humping the grass, humping the tree. It was all entertaining. That was the good thing about this film. It was one of the funniest films. It was, it was all gold. It really was. What I loved about it was the, the script and the storytelling of it. That's what made the choreography so easy because I knew I wasn't going to be working with you know, dancer dancers that can, you know, say I want you to do this and I'll do it. Working with actors and movers, it's always so much more interesting because they take such a different take on it. And I knew from the script and from the songs that had been composed, I knew that the choreography would work well in, in building really strong shapes and delivering the story that Tanetta 
is, you know, wanting to do. Barry is uh, free and liberated. I think he's the only character in this film who is. Um, and he is the slut uh, in Slut the Musical. And uh, he wants to celebrate that. And, he, and there's a struggle because his, his boyfriend, Murray, doesn't and is, is repressed. What would you say is his journey in this film? Uh, it's, I'd say it's from um, conformity to freedom, uh, which I think is one of the big messages of the script, which is what I liked when I first read the script as well. Cheryl is a prefect um, and she's a bit of a bitch um, and she wants to help um, Pauline uh, make sure that everybody is uh, behaving in school. My name's Rita. Uh, Ruti Rita and I'm playing Colleen and who is a prefect. Um, I, what I found challenging was the high heels and the other thing I found challenging was um, knowing where to pitch the character because everybody is so large and the characters are so huge and um, Sonetta the director wanted me more more grounded so and it was hard to see all these guys huge around me and um, uh, where can, how, how large can I go um, which is a journey I've kind of found on set as well. Uh, so I guess it's a satire, it's saying that by kind of making fun of all of it and making fun of these um, very uptight, um, conform, like high schools and I guess attitudes um, of people who kind of sneer at, that, of, at those kinds of relationships. But I mean, in the end, those people are the ones that are happy who are true to themselves. I like the way that it wasn't about in regards to Murray's character not knowing what he was, I think Murray knows what he is, he just doesn't know how to, to be himself comfortably and I think I enjoyed that part of the story and it's so great to have someone in the story, Barry, that's so happy and comfortable with the way he is and I think that's a really important thing for people to know regardless of who you are, what you do, it's always so great to be yourself and that's what I really loved about the story. Stop being so 